show you today is a Jazzy Elite HD how to unbox and how to put together this unit. Uh, this is a wonderful unit with a 450 pound weight capacity. Uh, it's a front wheel drive chair with big nice 14 inch drive tires so it's a very popular unit. Um, when this unit would come to you normally this would be stacked on a pallet. We already took it off a pallet just to save a little bit of time. Uh, you have your one box which is what your seat is in. You can get a 20 by 20 seat or you can get a 22 by 20 seat. Um, so you have your seat and you have your base. So what we will do first is we will, what you'll need certain tools wise is a knife and a, or a box cutter, uh, a 7 16th and a set of Allen wrenches. So, and we'll show you why you need these two in a minute. Uh, take your box cutter, make sure when you do cut the box open for the seat that you do not dig down and actually end up cutting your seat. or cutting yourself, more importantly. Um, so you wanna cut the box open, and you will have inside this box, um, actually, with these owner's manuals, it looks like now they are sending you the Allen wrench key, and the, the wrench and the Allen set that you need, and I'll show you why that you need these. They did not always send these before, but it is with that unit now. Take your headrest out, and here you have part for the arms, you can take this out, set it to the side, and then in here is your actual seat. Take your seat, lay it on the ground. So then this box, you can get rid of this box. Uh, this is your base. So once it would be off the pallet, sometimes it is strapped down with some uh, tough plastic straps. You can take those off. And then from there, you can lift the cover off. Your unit sits in a plastic molding like this. You're going to remove all the excess packing material. Wrapped around your foot plate is your owner's manual. In the front, you have your charger. And then behind the unit underneath here, packed in the foam, you have your joystick. So at this point, uh, it's typically easier to have two people take it out of the box. Uh, so right now I'm going to pause the video and we're going to go ahead and take it out of the box and set it to the side. Uh, one of my assistants here to help me take it out of the box, uh, out of the molding. Uh, we, we set it to the side. Now you can bust some of this foam and roll it out, but it's just easier if you have two people to help lift it out of the unit. Uh, last thing that you have inside your foam molding is going to be your joystick with the joystick cable. So you'll take that and you'll set that to the side. And then you can move this foam molding away as well. On this unit here, you do have levers in the front. Uh, if you push the levers out forwards, it puts the chair in freewheel motion, so then you can roll it and get it out of this foam. The reason why they now send, make sure you do lock it back in gear with these levers, otherwise the unit will not drive. It will be just in freewheel. Uh, the reason why they send you in this little kit with your seat, uh, this screw, and the Allen key is because they switched over seats from the manufacturer and on the old seats you needed these little clips here in the back that mounted with your seat. Uh, now on the new style of seat you have to take these off. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off now. And just to save some time I went ahead and unboxed the seat. I took the plastic shrink wrap off the seat and I, there's a couple other boxes that we had that had your, the parts for your arms for the power chair seat as well. I went ahead and took it out of the plastic just to save some time for the video. So once you get it unwrapped, this is what your seat will look like. Uh, the seat is about 45 pounds, so some people will need to be able to lift this seat and mount it. Um, under Hi, my name is Alex, co-owner of Mars Mobility. If you have found this video useful, please click on the subscribe button below. If there's something else you would like to see, please leave a comment below in the comment section. Enjoy the rest of this demonstration. Eat the seat, you can look right here. Uh, the front of the seat will drop on first, and then the back of the seat will clip on second. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick your seat up, drop the front on, and then drop the back on and it will click. Now, I got lucky it clicked on first time. Sometimes you do got to make sure it's directly centered or it will not drop on. Uh, over on the right hand side, I'll move the chair around so you can see it. You have a handle right here, it's called a limited recline seat. So it's got 110 degrees of limited recline, which is gonna recline back about three or four inches from straight up. So if straight up was right here, this is what limited recline is on a lot of power chairs. You can lay back quite a bit. So 
Once you have your seat on, from here you take your headrest, drop your headrest back here in the little slot, and then you have this little lever here. You tighten that lever, what that lever does is that takes away the play on the headrest. So you can squeeze it tight, it'll take away the wiggle on the headrest. From here, you have two arm, your arm posts. These arm posts are gonna slide in on either side here. Slide one in on this side, slide the other one on that side. Take your two armrests, they drop in here and here. You were given one of those Allen wrenches as well. In one of the booklets, what those are for, two things. It, the, the arms are height adjustable. So you can adjust the height of the arm and then you tighten it in the position that you want it to stay in on both sides. Once you've done that, the arms are also width adjustable. So if you look down here at the bottom of the seat, you can put your Allen wrench in there, loosen that up, and then you can determine where you want the arm to sit. So if you are a larger person and you need a little more room or you have winter coats when it's cold out, you can bring these arms out about three or four inches out away from the seat on either side. Um, but then you want to make sure you go in here and you tighten it back up because what that does is that's going to put pressure on this post here and that's going to take away all the wiggle. So we'll do that for both sides. All right, we'll flip back around to the front. Once you're here, now what you need to do is you need to check the connection of your batteries inside the unit. Uh, back here in the rear of the, uh, of the power chair, you have these two yellow tabs. Loosen these tabs all the way. And then this rear cover will come off. Now a lot of times how they ship these, they'll ship these with these batteries disconnected and the cables loose in there. Uh, you have two cables, it doesn't matter which one fits on either side, you just want to make sure they do snap in completely. Take your cover, put it back on in the back of your unit, and then screw these yellow tabs back in. While we're back here on the back of this scooter, it is nice. You do have a rear docking device on these new seats. The old seats did not have that. You had to pay for an additional docking device to put a rear basket, cane holder, walker holder, oxygen holder on the back. The new seats, that does come standard on there, so it is a nice additional feature. It does save you about 100 bucks without having to buy that piece. Uh, then we'll take our chair, turn around to the front, and now we're gonna mount the joystick. The joystick will look like this. You can take the cover off and take the plastic shroud. Take the plastic uh, shrink wrap off the joystick. Now this chair can be driven with the right hand side or the left hand side. Now since 90% of people are right handed, we'll go ahead and mount this on the right hand side. But what you can do is you can lift the arm up and you see I have this little uh, cuff link here. You're going to slide this into that slot and then you're going to take the same Allen key that you've had and you're going to tighten this set screw up. Now depending on the length of the arm, you can, you can bring the joystick all the way in, or if you're a really tall person, you can bring the joystick out, and then you tighten this up and it holds it in place. For time-wise, I'm not going to actually use the zip ties for this, I'm just going to connect it in. But what you would do is you're going to follow your cable inside the arm. You don't want to go on the outside of the arm, because what's going to happen if you're on the outside of the arm, if you hit a wall, door jam, anything like that, you will pinch this wire, and if you pinch the wire, then it loses communication to the joystick and you'll start having issues. Um, so with this type of chair, you're going to feed this cable along the arm with zip ties, and then the cable actually has to go back towards the front. The connecting plug will come standard coming out the front of the unit. You'll take it, snap it together, and now you
now you should have power. Now what you want to do, because I've had it in freewheel mode, I've been rolling this unit around, you do want to make sure these yellow levers are pushed in towards the middle of the chair. What that does is that's going to engage your electromagnetic brakes and it's going to allow you to drive the chair. If that is in neutral, your joystick is going to flash seven times and it will not operate. So you do want to make sure that you put this back in gear if you have it in neutral. It's a very common issue that most people have with this unit. Just another quick bit of information. A lot of people also lock themselves out of these units and they lock themselves out by a lot of times what they do is when they go to turn it on, they just hold their finger down on the button on the joystick and they don't know what they're doing because instead of just tapping the joystick, they hold it down. If you hold your finger on the joystick for five or six seconds while turning it on, your lights will begin to scroll back and forth and you're in a lock mode. If they're scrolling back and forth, what you're going to do is you're going to hit your horn button twice and it's going to unlock your joystick. All your lights will steady out and then you can begin to drive the chair. So once again, this is what your unit would look like. Uh, it's the Jazzy Elite HD uh, 450 pound weight capacity unit. Uh, fantastic, get about 10 miles on a full charge. Um, it's just a great unit if you want to use it inside and outside. Uh, just give us a call. We always have specials on this unit. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.